first of all, uh, I know I, I am I'm sure that uh, some new generation uh, doesn't know the roots of the Palestinian problem, and because of that, I want to go uh, briefly through the history from uh, 1917 when. Uh, uh, Belfort Declaration from uh, England, from from uh, Minister of Foreign Affairs of England, then uh, promised uh, to help and to support the establishment of a Jewish state in Palestine. From the the end of the First World War, uh, in, uh, Palestine was under the mandate of Britain, and through uh, this mandate until to the end of the uh, Second War. England and uh, British forces in Palestine helped uh, with weapon and support all uh, Jewish organizations and settlers first to control land and then to have their uh, uh, armed uh, attacks against Palestinians. And uh, as after the Second War, Britain uh, transferred the issue of Palestine to the United Nations and 29th of November 1947, uh, there was a decision from United Nations to for a partition of Palestine, the so-called uh, partition, the resolution 181, which was said that Palestine will be divided in two states, one Palestinian and one Israeli. But unfortunately, uh, after the establishment of uh, Israel, even Israel, uh, England, United States after the war, which take, took the rule of the leading uh, force of the capitalist countries, uh, prevented the Palestinian state to be established in, in, in cooperation with marionette Arab regimes and uh, in the, in the so-called first Arab-Israeli war, Israel occupied a big part of the land where the Palestinian state has to be established. Gaza uh, was under uh, Egyptian control and West Bank under Jordanian. In uh, 1956, during the uh, attack of uh, France, uh, Britain, and Israel on Egypt, on Suez, Israel occupied Gaza once. But uh, after uh, uh, intervention of uh, then Soviet Union, they withdrew and they withdrew from Gaza. 1967, in the so-called Six Days War, Israel occupied the rest of Palestine. It means that all Palestine uh, is now under Israeli occupation. Israel then occupied also Sinai from Egypt, Golan Heights from Syria, and part of uh, Lebanon, and some small part of Jordan. 1973, there was the first uh, war started by Arab countries to retain, uh, to regain their lands. Israel lost the, the, the war. They were drawn from uh, Sinai and half of Golan Heights, but uh, Sheba farms from Lebanon and West Bank and Gaza remained under Israeli occupation. 1982, Israel invaded Lebanon, where the Palestinian forces, the Palestinian BLO forces was in Lebanon, and Israel staged Beirut for more than 50 days, killing, bombing Beirut and killing Palestinians. And in September uh, 82, uh, there was the massacre of Sabra and Shatila, if you remember. 1987, the big Palestinian uprising started in Tifada, forced Israel to sit to negotiate the future of the Palestinian territories. But this was under the hegemony of uh, the policy of the United States there uh, in 1993 signed the so-called Oslo Agreement or Oslo Accords, which was uh, planned that through five years, negotiations will, will, will end with uh, establishment of Palestinian state. But from then until now, 30 years of negotiations, no results. United States is supporting all 
terrorist actions of Israel. After withdrawal from Israel, uh, from, the, from Gaza, of Israel from Gaza, 2005, but yes, they withdrew from Gaza, but they besieged Gaza. Gaza is under siege from 19, from 2005 until now. And through these years, there was five wars committed by Israel against Gaza, with thousands of Palestinian people to be killed, thousands, hundreds, uh, tens of thousands to be injured, and hundreds of thousands of uh, homes to be destroyed. The latest conflict now in, in, in Gaza started 7th of, uh, of October with Hamas as a, a part of the Palestinian liberation uh, movement started to attack Israel and in, in effort to liberate some uh, Palestinian territories. But from the same first day of this attack, Israel started a huge action, a huge uh, aggression and genocide against Palestinian people. In, in Gaza, through 36 days of uh, attacks, Israeli attacks, using all kinds of weapons supported by United States and Western countries, especially Britain, France, Italy, and so on, Germany, they killed more than 11,000 people in Palestine, in Gaza. More than uh, half are children, 75 uh, of them are children and women. They used uh, uh, weapons uh, prohibited by the international law, white phosphorus and other kind of weapons. They destroyed uh, hundreds of thousands of, uh, of houses. They attacked schools, uh, hospital, mosques, churches, UNRWA installations. They forced the people from the north of Gaza to go to the south. Uh, saying that it will be safe there, but uh, Israel is also bombing this uh, uh, part of this part of Gaza where it's supposed to be safe, as Israeli is uh, saying. Uh, the situation also in West Bank is very, very uh, difficult and dangerous. Israel is uh, attacking Palestinian cities and villages every day and night. They also enter, entering Ramallah, where the headquarters of uh, President Abbas uh, is. Israel, from the beginning of this conflict in Gaza in October, they killed more than 2,200 people in, in, in Palestine, in West Bank, and hundreds of them uh, are injured. Uh, they arrested more than 2,000 people from West Bank, and invasions in cities and and uh, villages in in palestine is in daily base uh, they closed all road, roads to to the cities it is it is not now easy to go from one city to other city even with gates they closed some villages without any possibility to enter or to go out from these villages israel is committing uh, genocide against Palestinian people in Gaza. Unfortunately, with the silence of the international community, and not only with the support of Western countries, uh, Biden came in the second day of the, the conflict uh, to uh, express his support to Netanyahu, knowing that Netanyahu is an extreme right uh, uh, prime minister. He has in his uh, cabinet, in his uh, in his cabinet, uh, two uh, fascist ministers. They are saying that Palestinians in, in, in the occupied territories has uh, had only three choices, or to go out, or to be killed, or to accept the occupation. This is the uh, uh, position of Israeli uh, government. As you remember, in the latest uh, General Assembly meeting in New York, uh, Netanyahu was showing a map with Israel to have a big part from Jordan. And he said nothing about the Palestinian people and about the rights of Palestinian people. He, uh, he, he was talking about normalization with Arab countries, that there will be a peace with Arab countries without solving the Palestinian uh, issue and the Palestinian problem. 
Israel is uh, now uh, aiming to uh, liquidate the Palestinian issue by forcing Palestinian, uh, Palestinians in Gaza to go out to, to become again refugees. Because of the uh, position of Egypt and Jordan refusing this plan, Mr. Blinken was saying that it is uh, better to open Rafah borders for Palestinians to go to Sinai. But when uh, Egypt refused that, saying that it is not uh, possible from the side of Egypt, he now he is now saying that it will be temporary, not forever, and so and so, trying to empty Gaza from Palestinians. Uh, United States in the Security Council prevented many times to have a resolution for ceasefire. Always Mr. Blinken is saying it is not yet time for ceasefire. It means that with the so-called uh, right of self-defense, giving Israel the uh, enough time to destroy Gaza and to kill thousands of Palestinian people. You are saying now, for, through the last three days that Israel bombing Israel is bombing Palestinian hospitals in Gaza. The central hospital in Gaza, Ashifa, is saved by Israeli forces and by Israeli tanks, and they are bombing it uh, every day. Uh, Israel is uh, Gaza is without uh, aid, without uh, medical supplies, without water, without food, and they are refusing to open Rafah. Uh, passage to uh, enter uh, humanitarian aid for Gaza. The, the, this conflict, which is now try, uh, going on by Israel to destroy Gaza, is threatening the, the region with uh, participation of other sides in this uh, conflict. The, the clashes between Israel and Lebanon started. It is not uh, uh, until now a war or general war between Lebanon and Israel, but it is a, it is started and every day the escalation is going up and up. And because of that, because of this policy of Israel supported by United States, United Kingdom and other NATO countries is threatening the, uh, the region with a regional war with the, it, it can be with the, with the uh, to include Syria, Lebanon, Iran, Iraq, uh, Yemen, and other countries, which means that it, it can lead the region to uh, uh, world war because there is also a presence of Russia and China in the region. Uh, it is connected in, 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 in somehow with the conflict in Ukraine. It is a an, an, uh, conflict between uh, big powers. And if it started, in Lebanon and to be wider in the region, the whole region will be in, 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 in danger of wider and with uh, big powers to be uh, a part of this uh, conflict. We believe and we see that uh, the international uh, solidarity with the Palestinian people is raising every day. We would like from this podium to thank all the people of the world who are uh, going to the streets to express uh, solidarity with Palestinian people for their legitimate rights and to uncover the lies of Israeli and American administrations that it is anti-Semitic. And because uh, we believe that the uh, lies from Israel and from Israeli prime minister first day when, when he said that they cut it, uh, uh, heads of children and so on, so on, so uh, discovered that it is a big lie. All Palestinian organizations, all Palestinian movement is now fighting for an independent Palestinian state on, on the basis of the uh, UN resolutions to establish a Palestinian state within the borders of 67 with East Jerusalem as its capital and the right of refugees to, to go back homes according to the UN resolution 194 and with uh, East Jerusalem as its capital and to free the Palestinian uh, prisoners in Israeli jails, which are now more than 6,000 Palestinians are in Israeli jails. 
We believe that Israel during the last three, 30 years, during the so-called peace process uh, going on with the uh, mediator, uh, if we can say, United States, Israel was killing every possibility for the two-state solution with uh, building settlements, with building the wall, annexing Palestinian uh, territories. If you can imagine that 60% of West Bank is so-called sea uh, territory, which is under control of Israel. It means that Palestinians who accepted to, to establish a Palestinian state on 22 percent of historical Palestine, now 60 percent of this will be under control of Israel. Netanyahu is saying that he, the security control of Gaza after the war will be for a long time under Israeli control. Israel is not willing to have any political solution. Israel is occupying uh, land from neighboring countries, threatening all neighboring countries without any willing to have negotiations, serious negotiation for peace. We believe after this conflict that the international community will take responsibility, which was absent for 75 years, to uh, have an international uh, conference to solve the Palestinian issue with the participation of United Nations and other uh, powers, regional and international, and not to uh, to uh, leave the uh, mediation under U.S. Uh, hegemony because we, this conflict showed that United States is not neutral. United States is uh, uh, an uh, ally in an ally with, uh, with Israel is participating in the killing of Palestinian people. Unfortunately, because of that, we believe that this. Uh, kind of negotiations under the mediation of United States will stop, must stop, and international conference can uh, reach some kind of solution to give to give the Palestinians their basic rights for independence and to live to live in an independent country as all the peoples of the region and of the world. We believe that uh, uh, the presence of uh, American troops also in the region is a reason of instability. We see how is the situation in Syria with, with American bases in Iraq, in Yemen, in every corner of the Middle East. The presence of US forces and as latest with uh, nuclear sub, submarine in the, in the Mediterranean and uh, playing uh, playing careers is a reason of instability. And because of that, we believe that the peoples of the region must be left to solve their problems without any foreign intervention. And they have nothing to, to share except their uh, common interests and common future. Thank you very much. I don't hear you, please unmute your microphone. Thank you very much, comrade. And we agree with you that the position of the Biden administration is not neutral and that we are doing everything that we can possibly do in order to shift that position and compel them to change their policy, to end the occupation, to end military support for uh, Israel and to withdraw US forces and US bases from the region. Let's take a few questions from the audience, uh, if you have time. OK. Yes, of course. Uh, hello, comrade. I'm Yusuf. Um, I understand that even before the war, Israel was arming settlers, and they were attacking Palestinians from uh, the remaining uh, land they have, and they, uh, uh, and last year there was a, a war against uh, some West Bank towns. Uh, could you uh, comment about it? Also, a U.S. citizen, um, Shirin Abu Akla, was uh, murdered. 
Yes. You know that in the in, in West Bank, Palestinians are under attack from two sides, from the Israeli occupation army and from the armed settlers who are the most extreme uh, citizens, the so-called citizens of Israel, attacking Palestinian villages every day, killing Palestinians, burning their uh, properties, cutting olive trees. Uh, as you said, they killed uh, no, uh, journalists, they killed Shirin Abu Akle in Jenin. Uh, as, as you remember, they buried a family in Duma, uh, Dawabshi. Uh, they, they, they killed the father and the mother and some. They are uh, in position to kill Palestinian with any accusation. They, the Israeli army used to, to stop uh, Palestinian and to put uh, to kill him and to put knife near his body and to say that he was trying to kill soldiers or to kill uh, Israeli citizens. This is the behavior of Israel and Israeli settlers in in West Bank. If you can imagine that uh, in West Bank, uh, 1993, when they uh, uh, signed Oslo Agreement, there was less than. 100,000 uh, settlers in West Bank. Trying that, as they said, the, there will be a Palestinian state in this territory. Now there is 800,000 of settlers in, in West Bank. They cut it all Palestinian villages. They uh, created bypass roads. Palestinians through many, many years couldn't use roads which uh, is used by, by settlers. Uh, and uh, the, the the regions in West Bank are cut are are cut it between themselves. There is checkpoints in every road. If you can, uh, if you want to go from Ramallah to Hebron, for example, uh, which is around thirty five uh, to forty kilometers, you have to uh, spend two or three hours in the checkpoint of of a container. Uh, today I was going to to to, to a clinic in Al Azariyah near Jerusalem, it, it, which is thirty kilometers. It took me two hours. It is the daily life of Palestinians. You can go uh, to your to your work, which is uh, half an hour, and you will find checkpoint, and it means that you can spend one, two, or three hours, or you can go back. This is the daily life of Palestinians. Uh, in West Bank. In addition to that, with this conflict, uh, late, late conflict, settlers are going on the streets attacking Palestinian cars with uh, stones, with weapons, and killing Palestinians, and especially at night. It is very dangerous to move uh, nights in, in West Bank. This is the real situation in, in West Bank. In Gaza, I am sure that you are watching and following uh, it is it is a holocaust, if we can say, which is going on in in Gaza. They are killing people without any any uh, human uh, feeling, uh, killing uh, babies, uh, women, forcing people to uh, to leave their homes, and they are bombing them in the road to other places. They they bombed the UN in installations and schools where. Uh, thousands of Palestinians uh, found a safe place, but it showed that it is not safe. And unfortunately, with the silence of international community and and and, and UN is unable and, and unable to to issue one resolution for ceasefire. Situation is continuing, and the killing is continuing every day and every moment, every minute. There is a Palestinian child to be killed in Gaza with Israeli uh, fighters to or drones or artillery to to bomb Gaza. Yes, comrade. I just wanted to ask um, about the status of your group and the other uh, groups of the Palestinian Liberation Movement since the uh, the bombing campaign has started. How are you guys organizing today and, and how are things looking? We have to say that uh, Palestinian uh, movement all 
are in struggle against Israeli uh, aggression. But you know that uh, uh, Palestinian organizations has uh, they are not in the same uh, position of power. In Gaza, there is uh, other organizations except Hamas who has uh, armed groups, uh, Jihad, the Democratic Front, uh, and uh, Popular Front and other. Uh, in West Bank, the main the main tool of uh, uh, fighting against Israel is the popular uh, resistance because in West Bank, except some small groups, there is no weapons in, in, in West Bank. And because of that, uh, we as Palestinian People's Party believed from the beginning and before this conflict that uh, the uh, popular resistance, which showed in 1987 that it can uh, help uh, Palestinians to achieve uh, results is the uh, best way in West Bank. And because of that, we still believe and the demonstrations uh, every day in Palestinian cities in West Bank uh, taking uh, place every day and every night. And we, we believe that it can show that with, we, in, in West Bank, with this kind of uh, resistance, we can achieve uh, results. Or, uh, of course, with the uh, support and solidarity uh, from all democratic peace-loving and progressive uh, and human rights movements all over the world.